Hey foodies, it's 5.30 and it is Monday. So we are gonna do a quick video here um, on our Foreman's Foodies uh, community right here. And I'm gonna show you some of the new things that came out March 1st. So I'm really excited about some of these new additions that we have. Um, as always, I love the new season. And I've got some, some items that have a facelift. Uh, but I'm gonna start by showing you one of my children's favorites. So let me put you guys on the tripod so that you can see what's going on here. All right, so this is, oh, it's covering the camera. There we go. Okay, so this is what we call the quick sickle maker. So um, this has been in my freezer um, for a while because it's been out for a little bit. So it has three little wells right there and we are gonna make some quick sickles. Now, the, the cool thing about this is it does it in eight minutes. So cool, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and take out, um, one of the things you can get with it is this little accessory cup, um, which is the little measuring cup that tells you how much to put in there. So you've got, if you're gonna do one, two, or three. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure out some juice. Mia is handing me the juice that she would like. So we're gonna do, are we gonna do um, a layered one? Yeah. All right, so let me do, we'll do one part grape juice. This is a cran grape juice. All right, so I've got one part there and then I'm gonna pour a little bit into each well after I put in the sticks. Okay. So here are the three, the sticks. It comes with a set of six sticks and then the accessory set comes with another three for a total of nine. So I'm gonna set each one down here like this. All right, then I'm gonna take our little accessory cup. I'm gonna pour a little bit down into each well. I'm gonna eyeball it the best I can to get it so it's um, about the same in each one. All right, so do we wanna do orange juice next? Yeah. All right, so let's rinse this out. All right, so while that is sitting, we're gonna take our cup again and we're gonna do some OJ. And we'll again fill that to the one. Are we still live? Okay. All right, the phone rang, so I was hoping you guys would stay connected. All right, so now I'm gonna take our OJ. I'm gonna leave it, it's, it's almost, it's gonna, I'm gonna give it a minute to sit there so that it is getting um, nice and uh, frozen in there. You can see it freezing. Yeah, it's freezing in there. I can't dip it upside down or it, you guys, it would kind of spill a little bit. It's nice to keep it nice and flat. All right, so now I'm gonna do a little OJ. All right, Mia, you wanna do the last third? We'll, we'll mix them. All right, that might, I might not have let it sit too, as long as we needed it to, but you know, we're pampered, not perfect, and Mia's gonna eat them, drink, eat them, drink them. I guess you would eat them. Anyway, so we're gonna do half grape, and then we'll do half orange. So you can tell we've had a little practice with this. Um, I've got a little cookbook kind of started with this, recipe book, I guess I should call it. Um, we've done chocolate milk and Nutella. We've done like a smoothie mix that has strawberries and bananas in there. So I'm gonna just top off the last little third. And there's a fill line. So it says just to fill it to the fill line that is on this, okay? And we're gonna leave that sitting. There's like a little, here, you can drink that little smidge that's left. So we're gonna leave this sitting while we talk about some other products, all right? So in conjunction with this set of items that's gonna make your summer really fun, is um, these reusable cones. So last year we came out with our ice cream uh, maker. And so now this is really fun because you can, you know, just put your ice cream down in there. Let me see those spoons. All right, so Mia's got our happy spoons here. See, they have little smileys on them. So they're happy spoons or pamper chef happy spoons. So they also have, um, with these, you can take your popsicle stick once they come out and it's gonna sit right down inside this so that when you want to put it on here, it's, a drip tray. it's like a drip tray so that you can keep your drips all right there. So that's super fun um, to do that. So this set comes with um, the three colors come in the set with the three little drip tray holder things and then the three spoons. I thought these were super fun, um, the way these um, all go together. All right, so we'll let you hold that back together. Now the accessory set I was just talking about comes with three more of these guys because you may find yourself wanting to make multiple rounds of these and then like a little set of tongs with the little measuring cup we were just using. So if you take your thinly sliced 
like say strawberries, remember the game operation, that's how you're gonna use these. So you're gonna use these and take your strawberries and you're gonna put them down in the wells. So as you do strawberries in there, this is what we've done mostly is strawberries, it like magnetizes to the side. Like it's mm -hmm. like as soon as it touches it, it starts to like freeze to the side. So that's why you're gonna use your tongs to get it all the way down. And it does say to use cut fruit, so you're not gonna use like whole blueberries or anything, you're gonna make sure you definitely cut it up. Um, those of you who are out there thinking of all the different combinations you can do with this, you can put up to one tablespoon of adult beverage in each well. So I have tried margarita mix with a little tequila. It's yummy. The kids have done sweet tea, they've done Gatorade, they've done all sorts of things um, in here already. We've been using this quite a bit and it's like, okay guys, go eat some popsicles because I need more sticks. So I right now have nine sticks. Um, I, in between making them, I put them in the freezer and I might put some wax paper down into one of our leak proof containers just to separate them. And, um, but the flavors have not like, they don't like mix while they're in the freezer or whatever, but that's what we've been doing. And then I just throw these in the dishwasher when we're done. Um, but I'm gonna let this sit for a few more minutes while this sets up, but that's some of our cool treat stuff. So I really like, um, this new set. This has been really fun. Um, it does say not to use soda and it does say not to use straight alcohol. Those of you who are out there thinking that, I know there's somebody. And then it does say you need to have something sugary. So like you can't use like a, it says like a no sugar like yogurt. Like you need to use something that has a little bit of sugar in it. So um, we're gonna let this juice sit for a minute while that sets up. And we're gonna go again, again and get this ready. Hey Carrie, how are you? I think your girls would totally love this. And you have three girls so they could each have three pops. So that would be really awesome um, to do that. And like say, we've done this for somebody had the juice, somebody had a chocolate milk and somebody had something else. So all three can be different at the same time. You can do, this takes eight minutes to do one, take them out, replace um, with another set of sticks, do another three for eight minutes and then do another three. So they say you can do three different sets in say 24 minutes before it needs to go back in the freezer. If you want to, you know, speed this process up, you can put the whole thing back in the freezer um, in between. I usually just leave it on the counter and then switch them out every eight minutes. All right, so I'm gonna set this over to the side. I do need to get out our key, which is what we'll need to get these out um, because they're frozen in there. All right, so let's set that aside. Now, also for the kids, um, or adults who like to have fun with their food because you know, we are foodies. This is another item that I wanna show you guys. And these are silicone pancake molds. So we have a heart, we have a star, and we have a triangle. So what I suggest is that you um, coat a little oil down here on, the, on this side before you put it down in the pan. You would be using your pancake blender bottle, so say you've shooken that up, put this down on your skillet, pour your pancake batter in there. And unlike they taught us in Teen Living, you, um, we usually, I remember being taught, let the bubbles come up and then you flip your pancake. With this one, you're gonna let your bubbles pop and then flip it, so then it's firm enough so that you can take this off, you just use this little tab, and you flip the whole thing over. So you let it finish cooking. Also, you can do an, um, an egg in there, like an over easy or over medium egg. But when your pancake comes out, you can then decorate it with all of these fun faces. So we have emoji stencils. So you would get out your flour sugar shaker that has some powdered sugar in there, and then, you know, make a sleepy triangle, you know? So that's what it's gonna look like when it's all done. So fun for the kids or for people like, you know, you guys like to have fun too. So this is this is gonna be really fun um, to do your pancakes and your eggs in here and then you have your stencil molds too. Okay, so that is a little bit about the kids stuff. Now Mia's got something else in her hand. Mia, you wanna come over here and show them that? Yeah. So this is a fondue stick, for, or you can use it for like s'mores and stuff. Put your marshmallow on it and put it in the fire. Here, I'll show you the other one. That one's yeah. for the fondue. Yeah, fondue. So that, for, show them the fork up close. See, it's kind of like. So that's the fork. And then I'm putting on, I'm twisting on the um, s'mores fork. So like, see how that's different? So these are interchangeable. It comes with four of these telescoping things. Okay, this is pretty big. This is like at least three feet. And then these things that are change out. So you get four like mine and then four like Mia's. And then they all come right here in this little um, bag. 
So who are my campers out there? Do I got anybody who's Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts? You just like to camp on the weekends? Um, this is definitely um, a fun little thing for you guys to have. Um, and so we're just gonna telescope these back. And then, so for our fondue, like the one that Mia has, mm -hmm. you know, you'd make your fondue and your rock crock, and then you could just dip in there too. And then let's say I wanted to be fun and like feed it to Mia, uh -huh. I could do that too. Or All you right. can also steal stuff off somebody else's plate. Oh yeah, Mia's already wants to steal something off somebody else's plate. The camera was being covered right there. Okay, so that is our fondue and s'mores set. Remember, it comes with four sticks, four of these and four of these, and these just screw off really easily. And then you um, can hand wash or dish wash these. These are kind of small, so I'd probably hand wash them so they didn't get lost in my dishwasher. And then, oh, and so I just put that, you know, set aside. All right, so also when it comes to grilling and doing things outside, here, you want to move that just a little bit over here? All right, so here is our grill, new grill mat. Okay, so this is a metal frame. Okay, so just a metal frame. And then this is a very flimsy. This is almost like a piece of tarp, it kind of feels like. So you line it up so that the handle goes on the open, open sides and then the little holes go all around here. So this fits perfectly on our indoor outdoor grill. So if you already have that, this fits perfectly. This also goes on your own outdoor grill. And what's really nice about this is after you cook your food, don't, don't worry about things going through the, the slits of the grill. Um, you use this multiple times over and over and over again. Then say this side gets a little worn, you just flip it and you use the other side. So these are made to be used over and over again and then discarded. And then you can buy just a replacement one of these. I believe it is two of these um, for $10 after you get the initial um, set here. Let me see, there's a question here. I feel like I need a telescoping thing, but not a camper, but we do. Yes, the fire pit. We have a fire pit out back too, and we do s'mores, and that would be great for that. Um, Roy, you wanna know how much the telescoping thingies are. Hey, Mia, come here. I'll have my assistant come in. Can you grab the catalog right there and look up the s'more sticks for Mr. Widgeon? Okay, so he's gonna look them up for you. She's gonna look them up for you, Roy. All right, so here's the grill thing. Super cool, I'm totally digging this. All right, so you've got that. Now let's say you're like me and you like to grill it like a girl inside. So if you've been to a show of mine recently, um, you know I always say that, grill it like a girl in the house. So we have a new grill pan. All right, so hold on to your seats, ladies and gentlemen, because the grill pan, okay, I love my Pamper Chef grill pan. I still have the old retire grill pan and the double border grill pan, but they gave our cookware a facelift, okay? And the pop, okay, Mia's getting prices for everything. All right, so Mia, we need prices for the creamsicle maker, the accessory set, and the fondue. I should have had that queued up. I'm sorry, guys. You know I'm pampered, not perfect, but I appreciate it. So All right, so the s'more set. Vision, I found the s'more set. The s'more set is $35. These sticks are retractable, and the handle stays away from the heat. They're beautiful pack of wood. And they're durable, made to last, includes four telescoping sticks, four s'mores heads, four fondue sticks, and a storage bag. The sticks are three feet, two inches, and a quarter inch when wow. they are fully expanded. Very so um, the heads are dishwasher safe, so 35 for the set. All right, look for the next thing. So what's the next thing? All right, so the quick sickle stuff. All right, so guys, these have been in for almost eight minutes. I'll go ahead while Mia looks them up so you can see in there. They're pretty frozen. Just the quick school sticks. All right, so the Quicksicle set. set okay. Uh-oh, we bounced a little bit. Okay. So the Quicksicle, the Quicksicle Maker, the Quicksicle Maker is $56, and that has um, the six sticks, the maker, and the um, little key thing, and the accessory set that comes with the, um, letter D, the accessory set is $8.50, so that gives you three more of the sticks and then the tweezers and the measuring cup. And then the reusable treat items are $10. So there's your set on that. All right, so this has been sitting in here for about eight minutes. You take your key and you just rotate it. And you just keep going around and around. And then I kind of felt it release and I go back the other way, kind of like our can opener. And when I do, just so I can take this off, Keep going. 
and then I pull the lollipop popsicle out. So there you go. You can kind of see the colors, yeah, the DVD, the um, lines in them as we did the different colors um, as we went. So <laughs> bring them on camera. Oh, I'm sorry. I was reading something else. Okay, so there is that popsicle. Yay. All right, so then I'll show you again. You just twist this Tasty. key on. It gets almost all the way there. It feels like, oh my gosh, I can't go anymore. Then it releases. You go back the other way and you just take the key off and you pull the pop right out. So great for if you have a child that has allergies or can't do like all that fake color stuff because you can make these pops however you want. Okay, so there's, I'm gonna give this one to Mia to put in the container. Don't lick them both. Aww. She's steadily licking the one I've already taken out. You wanna come over here so you can see them? All right, so my super sick kid wants one of those popsicles. Yes, they're really, really good. Um, I'm sorry about your baby, Christy. All right, so here's the other one. Sometimes I just take it off with the key on there, I forget, but I like then I have to kind of hold it and figure out how to get it off. So we'll just do it like this. All right, so I'm taking the key off again. And there's your popsicle. Isn't that super fun? All right, so think about the different combinations you could do. Almond milk, um, coconut milk, um, you know, a little mint extract in there to make it something minty and um, delicious. A little whipping cream, um, all that kind of fun stuff there. So um, do we not have any more in the freezer? No. Okay, so she's, I don't, Mia's just standing on the counter, you know, getting containers out. Yeah. So, I don't see any of the square ones. All right, it's fine. Come, come down, please. Just put this over there so I can move on to the next item. I need you to hold this. Okay, we're gonna set this over here. All right, so we're get, we were talking, getting ready to talk about cookware. So let me flip up to the cookware section so I can be on the right page and be with you guys. All right, so with the grill pan, the grill pan has gotten a little bit of a facelift, okay? So they added a handle right here, which makes it nice, because I've always wanted to grab that side. But if you um, notice, look, there's no handle right here. Say what? Okay, so we have removable handles from our cookware now, all right? And they lock into place. So all the cookware handles are interchangeable, depending on if you get a skillet or a pot or the grill pan. So this is really nice, they lock into place. What's nice, what, what, the advantage of this is for storage, so that this is a lot of, to store, right guys? This is like, you know, a good two feet of storage width to go in your cabinet. But when you take this off, you reduce your storage, and I've just been storing it right inside with my press. And then um, same with the pots. The pots can stack up, and I can just put all the handles like in the top of the pot because it doesn't matter which handle goes with which thing. And um, this is like a double click, like you have to kind of push the button and pull it back um, when you do this. So it's really locked into place. There are no rivet, rivets inside the cookware, so food's not gonna get stuck right there. This is also, this material is sprayed on like four times, heated at like 36,000 degrees. I have a bunch of stats on it. Um, but because of the material that it's made out of, um, which is, let me find it. Um, oh, where did it go? Oh, I'm reading the stainless steel. That's why I was like, what? It's like titanium, I think is what, didn't I see it somewhere? I saw it somewhere, I'll find it. Okay, so you, you have that. So this can also go in the oven. It's safe to 480 degrees, which is really cool. But ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your seats. I know I already said that, but this cookware, let me tell you a secret. It's dishwasher safe, okay? So I love that I can um, put this baby in the dishwasher. Um, it's been cleaning up so beautifully. I put it in the dishwasher. The one thing you'll notice is that the base, this was really shiny when I first got it, and it gets kind of dull. And that is the oxidation of putting it in the dishwasher. And it is totally fine that it does that. It's part of the process. It oxidizes. It does not affect performance or what's going to happen to your food. All right, Eileen, you say, um, can you save them or is it just to make them and eat? Yeah, we save them. We put them in the freezer. The freezer got the freezers. They go in the freezer. So we've made like 
nine at a time and then we're not eating all nine. So um, it's definitely been fun. And I did like the first set while the kids were at school and I experimented. And then when they came home from school, I was like, check it out. I got an after school snack for you. So they were totally loving it. Okay, so um, you just take this and we're gonna put this right back on here so you know. And then they did not redesign the um, press. The press is still the same, but it just sits in there just like our previous press, okay? Just like the previous pan, I love it. But when I go to put it in the oven, or the to put it in the um, stove, I'm sorry, the cabinet, I store it like that so I have less to store, much easier. All right, so the price on the grill pan, and I'll come back to the pancake things. The price on the grill pan, the new nonstick grill pan is, I is $190. So it is lifetime guarantee, as those of you who've been around a cookware for a while, and it is dishwasher safe, which is a new and improvement. So along with the same lines is the new multi-pot. So you might have seen me do some videos with the multi-pot already, and know that I totally love this pot. So with this, it has the steamer on the inside, but I'm gonna show you without the steamer for a second. So say you're making, you know, a pot of chili, pot of soup, whatever, today especially, it's a nice rainy, cold day, you're gonna take your lid and it just sits right there so that when you need to come over here and stir it, a lot of times you're like, where does our lid go? Where am I gonna put it? It just sits right here. All the condensation runs down here and right into the pan. I love it. So um, the non-stick coating looks the same as it does in the grill pan. And then it's actually a little rougher than you might be used to because it's been sandblasted. That's part of the process. But you can see how shiny this bottom is. This one has not gone in the dishwasher. This baby is five and a half quarts. I'm not gonna put this in the dishwasher unless like I really have no other dishes because it washes up so easily. I'm just gonna hand wash it. Okay, but I love it. The um, lid has a little notch. So after you've boiled your pasta, you're gonna, you're like, okay, or boil whatever, and you're like, oh, I gotta drain it. Well, how am I gonna drain it? You just hold it right here and you pour, because if you look really close, there's a space right there, so you can actually pour right out of this pot um, because of that space that's right there. So the other night, when I did mac and cheese on the bottom, and I did broccoli in the top, I was like, well, now how am I gonna drain my pasta? Because I just used this to steam. So that's how, why you just put the lid back on and you steam it, you drain it like that. Now, the, the drainer goes down three levels. So depending on what I'm doing, I might push it up if I'm steaming. The other day I steamed eggs because that makes it much easier than to do hard boiled eggs is to steam them. So I just set the nine eggs I was doing right here and had the water down there boiling. Um, so I kind of offset this when I put it on there and then put the lid right there. Now the multi-pot, you can get the, the drainer by itself if you so desire or get the whole thing together. So if you want the multi-pot with collapsible steamer, the whole set is $300. If you want just the steamer, it's 45. Okay, so that is um, I think an awesome reason to have a party is so you can get it for free or half price. Um, but if you want to pay full price, I'll totally um, submit your order. Just give me your card number and we'll take care of it that way too. So I love that. Now in conjunction with um, those pieces of cookware, we have some new cookware utensils. So first off, let me show you our beautiful new um, utensil holder. So you'll notice it's um, got some stainless steel on the outside here. The inner circle you can take out and place it over here. So if you wanted to place bigger items down inside there, you totally can do that. Then also stored inside of it is the spoon holder. So that's really fun that once you clean it and you're done using it, you just slide it back in there and it's not something else on your counter. And then I'm gonna put this back inside here. So that is our new utensil holder. It does hold a little less. It has a few less spots than our old one does, but it's really pretty. I've already had a customer put some like um, vinyl right here. Like she's got a Cricut machine and she put like a saying right here with the vinyl and it looks really pretty. Um, we have three new sets of utensils. So instead of bamboo, we've gone with teak wood. This is the corner spoon. And I like that you can get in the corners of your cookware with it. So you can see it has a nice, um, surface there to like dig in and get some stuff. So there is your teak wood. We also have nylon. So these are nylon with a nice stainless steel um, handle here. And then me and the dog needs to go out. And then we have stainless steel. So you're wondering like, hey, that's great and all, but stainless steel, you're not supposed to use steel in your cookware. 
Yes, we can. So it's so exciting that we now can use metal in our new cookware. Um, it's totally allowable to do that. So you can put that metal right in there. Now it may get like a slightly slight indention, which is totally okay because of the four layers, it's not gonna flake off. So it's really cool. All right, so these are the three new sets. You can buy the pieces individually, or if you really want to, you can get the three, there's three different size. There's like a, oh, here's the fish. Oh, I'm gonna set myself in the glasses. The fish spatula, and then there's a ladle that goes with that. And then there's three pieces with this one, and then there's three pieces with this one. And you get, so you get all nine pieces and the, the turnabout, the utensil holder, all as a set together. So I think that's gonna be pretty cool for like a gift, maybe as a wedding gift, or if somebody that's starting out their first apartment, or maybe they're redoing their kitchen. I'll show you the picture in the catalog so you can kind of see how it all looks together. Hopefully the glare is not too bad, but see, you can kind of see how it looks all together. And then there are the three sets of three. So if you wanted to get the whole set together, the stainless items are $20 a piece. The teak are 10 a piece. The nylon is 15 a piece. The rotating um, utensil holder is 35. You can get all of those together. So the nine pieces and the rotating, rotating thingy for uh, 148. So that's a really nice deal to get all those really nice utensils all in a set together. So they, you may have noticed in my turnabout, there was another set of utensils that looked really fun. Let me find them. And it is our new basic set that has some fun colors. So they just took our um, existing basic set that was in black nylon and then they added the fun colors. So this is like a corally orange. This is like a light blue. This is like a darker blue. And then we have like a limey green. These match perfectly with our cutting mats and with our color-coded knives. So look at that set. Isn't that beautiful, the way it all goes together? That comes in a set as well with um, the knives and the mats and the cookware all comes together. So that's really fun. So that's one of the other new things. All right, Mia, we put those back in the little slots right there so I can make room. All right. And then, um, so in addition to our non-stick cookware, the other new thing is our stainless steel. All right, so, oh, the basic set is, if you want the basic set together, which is everything, where, where did that go? The flexible cutting mats, and then the color-coded knives, and the basic set, all of those are going to be 130 together, and then the new basic multicolored set is 20, 50, like $20.50 for those four multicolored things. So, and they're dishwasher safe, so this is fun. All right, so back to our cookware. We've got our stainless steel cookware here, and I have to tell you guys, I'm really scared of stainless cookware. I'm not a very good cook. Um, I don't really know how to use stainless that well. I know how to talk about it, and I know what professional chefs use it on TV, but I'm not very good. I'm impatient, and so that's why I like my nonstick. I can just cook it up and not have to worry about burning it. So what they did is when they designed this nonstick I'm sorry, the stainless cookware, it um, has a non-stick mesh on the inside. It has enough of the non-stick that comes through in the pattern, so you still achieve the sear that you want, the fond that you want, and then you can still do your roux and gravies the way you want. Um, there's no rivet, so no food's gonna get stuck right there. This is still safe in the oven, up to 400 and 50 degrees, it's got glass lids, so you can see what's going on. I've been using this like a lot. Like we've been doing egg scrambles where I just throw eggs and sausage and jalapenos in there and I scramble it all up, put them in a bowl, we shred trees, cheese over top. We've been doing a lot of that in this and I'm, I love it. Um, this is dishwasher safe, however, I usually just hand wash it. And you can use metal utensils in here. Um, the cleanup is super easy because it's dishwasher safe. And then this is also part of the lifetime guarantee. So right now there are only two skillets in this collection and you're gonna have the 10 inch stainless steel set and uh, I mean, I'm sorry, skillet. And then you're gonna have the 12 inch, which this is the 12 inch um, and it has the lid, it is 210. So great piece to get with your, with your show so that you can get this baby half price or use your free money on it. So um, the 10 inch and the 12 inch are the only pieces right now in our stainless steel line. And then the executive, or I'm sorry, the non-stick line has quite a few pieces. I'll show you the whole picture here in the catalog so you can kind of see, I'm sorry about the glare, um, all the variety that you got when it comes to that. So great items there. 
and they are actually made in Germany. I do know that because I flipped the bottom over. You can see it says made in Germany. So we've got different pieces in that. And then I know somebody asked about the pancake mold. So let me find them real quick so that I can show you guys that. So the pancake molds, it says like the set of three. So you've got the, um, with the utensils, it's $15. That's so fun for $15. So, I mean, you'd spend more than that at IHOP making those pancakes or having those served to you. All right, so there's the pancake set. What's really fun is on the back, when you host your own party, there are special combos on the back that are just available for hostesses to use with their half price. And so one of them is the pancake blender bottle with the pancake molds and the um, double burner executive grill pan. And then the... Um, the spatula right there to flip them. So that's a set that as a hostess, you can get for $94 and that's the lifetime guarantee cookware. So also as a hostess, you can get this combination, which is the frozen treat set, which is the ice cream maker, the quicksicle maker, and the, the accessories that go that you can see there. That set is $77.50 when you host a show. Um, you can get three of our forage cutlery knives, um, the seven, the five and the three that is 88 and then the new basic cookware set has a little bit of the nonstick and the stainless all there together great set and um that would be 362.50 at the host cost because it's 725 before the half price so that is a little bit um about the half price combinations when you book your own show um any time that you have a show you get anywhere from two to five half price items so that's anything that you want in the catalog. So you can mix and match. I always try to help you get the most um, economical deal when you are a hostess. Um, but that kind of covers all the new stuff. So we've got stuff for the kids, stuff to stay cool, stuff to keep it warm in the kitchen, grilling up some fun things, sauteing some fun things. You've got your utensils. You've got your bait, um, stuff for the, the, the grill with the grill mat. And then the set that you would use out with the fondue and everything. So that is your new spring line. So this week, some catalogs went out to a bunch of, um, bunch of you guys that requested catalogs. So they should be arriving here in the next couple days. They should have, they'll have a newsletter. They'll have a recipe in there for the new, one of the new recipes that goes right here in the stainless steel skillet and, um, definitely some more fun information. So, um, definitely feel free to catch the replay of this video. Oh, there's my wrestler coming in. He's all wet. He rode his bike to school today. And then, um, we, uh, if you did not get one of those catalogs, we'll definitely let you know. So, or let me know so I can mail one out to you. But I think in the next couple of days, you should be receiving those. And um, thank you so guys for um, turning in tonight to see the new products. And we'll be back next week with a cooking demo. So um, have a good night, stay warm and dry. And we'll be talking to you soon. Bye foodies.